SpaceX is about to attempt something so bold, so absurdly sci-fi, it makes catching a rocket booster look like child's play. Like 12 isn't just another test. If successful, would be another small step forward in the larger goal of grabbing both the booster and the upper stage in midair. Each rocket half using its own dedicated recovery tower that looks like something designed by a caffeinated Gundam fan. This is the story of how SpaceX plans to catch two falling skyscrapers and why Flight 12 might be the most important rehearsal in space flight history. Let's talk about the new launch tower, Megazilla 2.0. If the original was a robotic giraffe with chopsticks, this one's a hydraulic ninja with a PhD in oil over to mechanics. Height? Nearly 150 meters. Now with extended arm reach and faster actuation. Chopsticks? Reinforced with carbon composite dampeners and predictive AI tracking. Base? Shock absorbing mount designed to handle booster landing with surgical precision. This isn't just a launch tower, it's a catcher's mitt for orbital baseball and flight 12 is the warm up pitch. Flight 12 is the first full stack of the Block 3 Starship system. They give it as Starship's Broadway debut, new costumes, tighter choreography, and a finale that could bring the house down. Vehicle specs Booster 18 is expected to have 35 Raptor 3 engines, thrust approximately 98 meganewtons. Three grid fins down from four, now 50% larger and stronger. Redesigned fuel transfer tube for better engine feed. Chip 39 Starship Upper Stage Block 3, six Raptors, three sea level, three vacuum. Heat shield, ablative tiles with new underlayer. Payload 100 tons to low Earth orbit. Structural tweaks for catch compatibility. The goal of Flight 12, launch, separate, survive re-entry, and land, or at least simulate the conditions for a future catch. ASICS already caught the booster twice, it was like watching Thor's hammer land on a dinner plate, and the plate didn't break. Now they want to do it again, but this time they're eyeing the upper stage too. Catch sequence? Booster returns to launch site, guided by grid fins and raptor throttling. Megazilla's arms close around it like a claw machine that actually works. Ship re-enters, slows with flip maneuver, and targets the second tower. Chopsticks extend, track, descent, and if all goes well, snag the ship in midair. It's like juggling chainsaws in a wind tunnel, but if they pull it off, it's the holy grail of rocket beaters' ability. Why catch rockets at all? Because splash sounds are messy, landing legs are heavy, and Elon Musk doesn't do boring. Catching both stages means faster turnaround, lower cost, and a launch cadence that rivals commercial aviation. Strategic impact enables rapid reuse. Think weekly launches, reduces refurbishment time and wear, sets the stage for orbital refueling, lunar landings, and Mars missions. This isn't just about rockets, it's it's about building the infrastructure for a multi-planetary civilization, and Flight 12 is a dress rehearsal for that future. Starship Flight 12 is more than just a test, it's a statement, a declaration that the age of disposable rockets is ending, and the era of orbital choreography is beginning. So hit that like button and subscribe, because the next time you look up, SpaceX might be catching both Booster and Starship, like two cheerleading Transformers. Also I want to give a shout out to NASA Space Flight for the use of their videos. Space Extra, out.